Hello, Junk Wax Investor community. Hope you're all having a great day, and I hope you're ready for another awesome 80s and 90s video. We'll be looking for the 15 most expensive that sold in the month of February. We're looking at eBay and all the major auction houses. Anything goes. This video is coming out a little later than I'd like, according to my schedule. I'll work on getting that quicker here the next month. However, it's worth the wait. There were some awesome cards that sold in February. Make sure to stay tuned all the way to the end. I have some bonus listings as well. You don't want to miss those. All right, let's get into the fun stuff. First up in the 15th spot from 1981 tops, we have Joe Montana's rookie card graded a gem in PSA 10. This card sold at Memory Lane Auctions for $84,998. That's the second highest sale for this card. The record is $87,330 from January of 2021. And this card in the gem mint slab is a pop of only 107. In the 14th spot from 1984 star, we have the Michael Jordan number 101 extended rookie card graded a mint BGS9. This card is sold at Memory Lane Auctions for $86,047. It's a pop of 72 in a mint BGS slab and there's three higher graded gem mint BGS 9.5s. A mint BGS9 sold on eBay back in January, just a couple months ago, for $75,000. So this is definitely a bit up from that one. Moving on, we have a tie for the 12th spot. First up, from 1997 Sports Illustrated for Kids, we have the Kobe Bryant Rookies. Graded a gem in PSA 10, sold at PWCC's Premier Auction for $90,000. This card is a pop of one, and this is the first sale of this card on record. Wow, $90,000. Add that to the list of five-figure Sports Illustrated for Kids cards out there. Also in that 12 spot from 1998 Upper Deck, we have the Michael Jordan Game Jersey Auto, graded a mint PSA 9, and sold at Golden Auctions for $90,000. That's a record sale for this card. The previous high was this exact same card because it's a pop one in a mint slab. And that sale was for $84,000 at a golden auction back in June of 2021. In the 11th spot from 1986 Fleer, we have Johnny Moore graded a gem in PSA 10. And it sold at Memory Lane Auctions for $90,199. That's a huge record sale for the Johnny Moore card. The 86 Fleer set collectors are getting desperate. So the Johnny Moore and the PSA 10s, one of the lowest pop PSA 10s in the whole 86 Fleer set. Uh, the only one that is lower is Jeff Malone at 65. And this Johnny Moore is a pop at 67. So these cards are must-haves for the set collectors out there that's trying to put together an 86 Fleer gem in PSA 10 set. So the previous high, this was a record, the previous high was $42,800 from May of last year. We're getting close to it being a six-figure card, which is crazy. In the number 10 spot from 1999 Fleer Mystique, we have the Kobe Bryant Raise the Roof Refractor, graded a gem in PSA 10 and sold at Golden Auctions for $96,000. It's a pop one in a gem mint slab, and this is the first sale of this card on record. And it is serial number 40 out of 100. In the number nine spot from 1980 tops, we have Ricky Henderson's rookie card graded a PSA 10. This card sold at Heritage Auctions for $111,000. That's the fifth highest sale for a Henderson rookie card. The record is just over $180,000 from February of 2021 and it's a pop of only 25 in a gem mint slab in the number eight spot from 1997 metal universe championship we have a kobe bryant precious metal gems graded a near mint mint psa 8 this car is sold at golden auctions for 133,200 dollars it's a pop of three in an eight slab and there's two graded higher and both of those are mint PSA 9s. This precious metal gem is numbered out of 50, and this card here is number 49 out of 50. 
for any comps a PSA 7 sold for $3,378 in May of 2017 but other than that not really any sales in the number seven spot from 1979 80 Opeachy, we have a Wayne Gretzky rookie card grade a mint PSA 9 this car is sold at Memory Lane Auctions for $160,736. The record for the Great One in the Mint Slab is $265,200 from April of 2021. This exact card actually sold in December 2020 for $84,000. So definitely somebody made a good return on that one. And it's a pop of 92 in the Mint Slab and there's only two higher graded Gemin PSA 10s. In the number six spot from 1993 Upper Deck SP, we have the Derek Jeter rookie car graded Gem Mint SGC 10. This car is sold at PWCC's Premier Auction for $168,000. In the Gem Mint SGC slab, it's a pop of only four. All right, let's see what we have in the top five. But before we do, just a reminder that down in the description below, we have some affiliate links that you can check out. Junk Wax Investor members can save 10% at BCW Supplies with the code JUNKWAX10. There's a link below. In addition, you can save 20% on your first month subscription of Market Movers app with the code JWI20. Also, in all of our weekly videos, we have links to eBay search results for various boxes. And there's some generic search results below to sports and non-sports cards if you want to browse eBay. All right, let's see what we got in that top five. From 1996 Topps Chrome, we have the Kobe Bryant Rookie Car Refractor, graded a pristine BGS 10. This car is sold at PWCC's Premier Auction for $216,000. It's a pop 13 in a pristine slab, and there's two higher graded perfect black labels. In the number four spot from 1997 Metal Universe, we have the Kobe Bryant Precious Metal Gem Red, graded a PSA 4, and it's sold at Golden Auctions for $229,200. It's a pop 3 in a PSA 4 slab, and there's only 10 graded higher, with the highest being 3 PSA 8s. This here is number 39 out of 100. However, there were only 90 red precious metal gems as the first 10 sequentially numbered were green. In the number three spot from 1986 Fleer, we have the iconic Michael Jordan rookie card graded a gem mint PSA 10 sold at Heritage Auctions for $288,000. The record was $840,000 from July of 2021. And the MJ rookie card is a pop of 318 in a gem mint slab. In the number two spot from 1997 Metal Universe Championship, we have the Michael Jordan Precious Metal Gem graded a mint BGS 9 and is sold at PWCC's Premier Auction for $324,000. This is serial number 17 out of 50. And it's a pop 7 in a mint slab, and there's one higher graded gem mint BGS 9.5. I bet you that would be a 7 figure card. And speaking of 7 figure cards, top in the list in February from 1997 Metal Universe. We have the Kobe Bryant Precious Metal Gem Green. Graded a near mint mint plus BGS 8.5 and is sold by a private sale which was brokered by PWCC for $2 million. Wow. That is the highest graded by BGS. It's actually a pop two. There's two of these out there somewhere. And for comparisons, uh, PSA, the highest graded is a PSA 7. And these are number to 100 on the back but as mentioned before with the pmg red the greens are only the first 10 so these are limited to 10. all right that's it for the 15 highest selling 80s and 90s cars from february the total of all 15 was four million one hundred and sixty seven thousand three hundred and eighty dollars that's a pretty strong total highest that we've had since last may so that's pretty promising hopefully uh we continue that trend this year
Alright, that was fun, but now let's take a look at some bonus cards. And I say bonus cards, but we're going to start off with a non-card item here. This is from Heritage Auctions. It's a 1985 Pete Rose Original Limited Edition screen print by Andy Warhol. And it's sold at Heritage Auctions for $55,200. That's a pretty unique piece. I'll read a bit of the listing here. It's kind of interesting. A commission fit for a hit king. It was an odd couple to say the least. Rose had never heard of Warhol and Warhol had never heard of Pete Rose. But the most famous artist of his generation was not one to turn down a $100,000 commission. He'd been contacted by the Cincinnati Art Museum as the city's greatest baseball star. Edged ever closer to Ty Cobb's career hits record requesting an artwork to commemorate the historic occasion. Warhol made four color variations of the print formatted to mimic the appearance of a baseball card. And the quartet did indeed become the star of the Cincinnati Art Museum's collection in the fall and winter of 1985. The commission also stipulated the production of 50 signed prints, which quickly sold out at a price of 2500 bucks. Today, those prints are highly coveted by Warhol and baseball collectors alike. Though rarely encountered due to their tremendous scarcity, the original cover letter that accompanied this print when delivered to its buyer in 1985 is included in the lot. So this print is number 23 out of 50 and it's signed and dated at the bottom by the artist and it's 32 by 40 inches. That's pretty awesome. From 1985 star, we have a Michael Jordan Rookie of the Year graded a gem mint PSA 10. Yes, you heard that right. PSA, even though PSA does not grade star basketball cards. This was before then. And it sold at Heritage Auctions for $54,000. So PSA stopped accepting star basketball submissions and wiped their population clean. You can notice this is an old label. You can tell by the typeface on the label. However, if you type in the serial number, the pop actually shows up as 1985 Upper Deck Nielsen Chalk Talk. And it's a pop one. And there's actually four in the pop report. Pretty unique item. From 1981 Sports Illustrated Magazine, we have the Wayne Gretzky first cover graded as CGC 9.4 and it sold at Heritage Auctions for $30,000. Definitely an awesome piece. If you're a Gretzky collector, I couldn't imagine too many of these 1981 Sports Illustrated Magazines surviving in that great of condition. So $30,000, wow. From 1993 Skybox Simpsons. We have the Art DeBart sketch card of Homer Simpson, number 289 out of 400, with a PSA 10 grade for the auto. That's a Matt Groening auto, and it sold at Heritage Auctions for $17,400. I always liked the description on the back. This genuine, one-of-a-kind, authentic piece of Matt Graining original art is certifiably real and undeniably worth every penny you paid for it and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. That's awesome. From 1990 Upper Deck French, we have a Yarmory Yager rookie card graded a pristine BGS 10. And this copy sold for a steal at Robert Edward Auctions for $960. So PSA 10s of this card have been selling for quite a bit recently upwards of $500 or more. So for pristine BGS 10, 960 bucks was a really good deal. Subgrades were 10 for centering corners edges and a 9.5 for surface. It's a pop of only 15 in a pristine slab. And there's actually one higher graded black label. So a pristine BGS sold earlier in March. So just about a month ago on eBay for $1,586. So that kind of proves what I was saying, that this was probably a pretty good buy for this one. From 1980 Opeachy, we have a Marc Messier rookie card, graded a gem in PSA 10, sold at PWCC's Premier Auction for $15,600. That's the sixth highest sale. The record is $25,500 from February of 2021, and it's a pop of only 43 in a gem mint slab. 1998 Upper Deck, we have the Kobe Bryant game jersey card graded gem in PSA 10 and sold at PWCC's Premier Auction for $19,200. That's the second highest sale. The record was $29,500 from last April. 
And this exact card actually sold for $2,000 in November of 2019, so that's a pretty good return. 2000 bucks to just under 20000 It's a pop of 16 in Gem Mint Slab. From 1998 SP Authentic, we have a Peyton Manning rookie card, numbered to 2000, and graded a pristine BGS 10. This car sold at PWCC's Premier Auction for $27,000. Subgrades were 10s for centering corner surface and a 9.5 for edges, and it's a pop of 28 in a pristine slab. From 1998 Skybox EX Century, we have the Dirk Nowitzki. Essential Credential Now Rookie Card, Serial Number 30 out of 68, and graded a Gem Mint PSA 10. This car sold at PWCC's Premier Auction for $27,600. That is the first sale on record of one of these in a Gem Mint slab, and it's a pop of only six. From 1984 Panini F1 Grand Prix, we have the Arten Senna Scratch and Play Rookie Card graded at PSA 6 and is sold at PWCC's Premier Auction for $30,600. As the first sale on record of a PSA 6, it's a pop of only 4 and there's only one higher graded PSA 7. So a PSA 4 sold couple months ago in February for $10,200 so these are selling for quite a bit from 1985 tops Tiffany we have a Kirby Puckett rookie card graded a gem in PSA 10 and sold on eBay for $4,300 it's actually the fourth highest sale the record was not too much more but $5,227 from October of 2021 and it's a pop of only 52 in a gem mint slab from 1996 Sports Illustrated for Kids, we have Tiger Woods Rookie Card graded Gem Mint PSA 10. Here's another Sports Illustrated for Kids Five Figure Club card as it sold on PWCC's Premier Auction for $45,600. That's a record sale for a Gem Mint Tiger Rookie Card with the previous high being $41,500 from April of 2021. This exact card actually sold in June of 2020 for $15,000. From 1999 Fleer Ultra, we have the Tim Duncan Masterpieces. This is a one of one, and it was graded a near mint mint PSA 8, and it sold at PWCC's Premier Auction for $20,400. This is the first sale of this card on record on PSA's website, and obviously the pop is one. And we're going to finish it up with an amazing set here. This is a 1980 Tops complete set. So you got all of the cards here. It's a complete 176 card set. And they're all graded gem and PSA 10s. Including that super rare Larry Bird Magic Johnson with the Julius Irving scoring leader. Which have recently sold. Those have recently sold for over $800,000. And it's a pop of only 22 so there's actually nine cards in this set of 176 that have at least one segment picturing Larry Bird and or Magic Johnson rookie cards on them. And they're all PSA 10s. None sell as much as the scoring leaders one. But you get the whole set. And I mean, there's a bunch of other cards of Dr. J, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, all of the old-time greats. But if that's not enough, you also get... The 1980-81 Topps Basketball Team Pinup Inserts. It's a complete 15 card, all graded by PSA, all high level grades. There you see the team pinup of the Lakers and the Celtics. So that would have Larry Bird and Magic Johnson on it as well. The Celtics is a PSA 10, the Lakers one's a PSA 9. So that's a pretty awesome complete set there, but they weren't done. You also get a 1980 Topps Basketball Wax Pack, graded a Gem in PSA 10, which is pretty awesome because that's only a pop of two. There's only two of these packs graded Gem in PSA 10 out of 1,250 packs submitted and graded by PSA. And if you think that that would be enough to give you the most complete 1980s Topps Basketball set, you would be wrong because we're going to throw in a complete uncut sheet as well how crazy is this this lot is amazing all right so you get the full 176 card set all graded psa 10s you get the team pinup 
15 card high level graded PSA, you get that wax pack Gemin PSA 10, which is one of only two. And you get an uncut sheet and is sold at golden auctions for $1.44 million. Wow. But you could honestly say you probably have the best collection from 1980 tops. All right, that's it for the video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite cards were. All right, if you haven't done so already, please take a second and hit that like button. I truly appreciate the support. Check out the affiliate links we have in the description below. You can save 10% at BCW Supplies with the code JUNKWAX10. You can also save 20% on your first month subscription of the Market Movers app with the code JWI20. As always, enjoy the rest of your day and keep collecting. Thank you.